Hey everybody, Brickliver18 here today with a tour of my customizing station. This place where I keep all the supplies that I would need to make custom Lego minifigures. Subscribe to Brickliver18 for more daily Lego videos. For those that do not know, I occasionally make custom Lego minifigures. And this video is basically just going to show you all the supplies that I use to make these minifigures. These blue bins are a little bit different than the rest of the station because they actually hold the custom items that like I have for sale. So as you can see I have like my SWAT team minifigures here, I have Brickly the Spider here, my selfie stick, and just sort of stuff like that is stored here. I used to have them stored in this cabinet below, but they were just taking up too much space for the volume that I had, so I decided I'd shrink it into this. Down below here, I have this little shelf that's actually just being held up by Lego bricks, just so I can slightly store stuff underneath. The first thing that I do store under here is this mat. This mat has got lots of paint on it because I use it all the time to get paint on instead of like my good Lego wooden desk or my backdrop or stuff like that. This mat does definitely take a beating. Under that I keep these markers, I use these once in a while for videos, and under that I keep full sheets of sandpaper as well as custom decals for my custom products. Over here under the same shelf I have a plate of items for customization. First up are these pliers. These pliers are extremely helpful when trying to get the lids off my paints. On this I also have this Santa torso that I was painting but really screwed up before Christmas so who knows when I'm going to finish that. I have this a piece of this Mega Blocks or something like that. The, I use these to customize on. They're great. I have another plate here as well as I have this cloth. This is perfect for rubbing like Brasso off and stuff like that. I also have this plate that looks like a mini figurehead so I can put my freshly painted items on to get them out of the way but again not to stain my other stuff. Over here are these bins. These are actually two bins from the dollar store that I have taped onto a piece of wood. I tape them onto a piece of wood so that I can easily take them off the shelf and you know take them to my customizing station but so that they're fastened so I don't have to like try and knock them over so I don't knock them over and stuff like that. As you can see I have the top four labeled. In this drawer up here we have toothpicks. In this drawer up here we have q-tips. Over here in this drawer we have stirrers so I can like you know stir the paints and stuff like that. And then in the fourth final drawer that's labeled I have all these Lego parts. They're actually not real Lego parts because they're just covered in paint so I use think well some of them are real Lego parts but for the most part I use like mega blocks. In this drawer I keep a lot of the things that I have started to custom paint out of Lego but I never actually finished them. Here I have another drawer of even more parts that I use to paint on. I have this smaller drawer that holds a lot of my sandpaper and in the final drawer, the eighth drawer, I have some top secret product that you can't see. Up here, as you can see, I keep a margarine container. The margarine container is perfect for putting water in to wash my paint brushes off, as well as to put parts in after I brasso them to wash them off. Up here, I also have some paper towel that I've cut in half just because I only need normally half at a time. And paper towel is definitely something you need when you're going to be painting Lego pieces. Because let's face it, you probably will screw up. Behind the counter, as I mentioned, I do have some extra testers paint kits. Some of these paints are no good or they're just duplicate colors. Off to the side here in this cramped area, as you can see I have a container of Brasso. Brasso is very useful when taking printing off Lego pieces. Here I have this spray lacquer for testers. This is the first step to like, you know, protecting your painted Lego minifigure parts. Here I have this spray from Color Master and this is like the final step. This is what I use to make them have the glossy and you know nice shiny feeling. Back here I just have a water bottle. It's a full water bottle and it but it's been drank out of. It's like a combination of a couple water bottles that have been drank out because I don't waste water. And this is the water that I use for my custom Lego parts because it's like stale and as I said it's been drank out of so I'm not wasting water. I'm actually recycling it. Next to that I just have a Tape some paper towel that I've slightly used but definitely can be used again. Next to that I have this carousel of testers paints. These testers paints are very useful I find for customizing near Lego minifigures. So I just have this little carousel of all these small bottles. I have a lot of different colors but not a lot of places on the carousel so a lot of the testers paints you'll find just set around the edges. Underneath the paint caddy I have this custom supplies tin. So here's what it looks like when I open up the roof of this tin. 
As you can see, I have this tester's little thing that I never use. It just came in a tester's kit. I have another margarine container just for extra water and stuff like that. And I actually have this small container of cooking oil because that's perfect to use when you're like a roller coaster. Get the tracks gets a little sticky. I have another small container of Lego parts here to customize, including more sandpaper, some old parts that I don't really know why they're in there, a gumball machine, as well as eyes for my custom Lego eggs. Underneath I have a whole bunch of sprinkles that I use for my gumball machine. Over here I have this whole thing of clay. I use this for like making like custom minifigure parts and stuff like that that I need. I haven't used that in a while so it's probably going to dry out soon. Here I have this sponge, it's a really good sponge for brass away because it's got this rough side. I have a, another sponge that I use for water sometimes to cl clean the bricks and stuff like that. Some stencils here, discontinued or like defect custom parts that I was just kind of experimenting on. Lego parts again that I was painting but never finished. Another custom. Some random things including some glue to sticks, some prototypes of LEGO customs before I actually made any and sold them, business card cut up, decals of customs that I could actually make more customs of like including the cell phones, and then there's just some pretty random stuff in there after that. Behind the tin I have these Mega Bloks plates that are really awesome for customizing your Lego pieces on and then I use them to spray all the lacquers on because it doesn't waste perfectly good Lego pieces, just these crappy Mega Bloks ones. Thanks everybody so much for watching my tour of my customizing station. I hope I've given you a little insight of what the supplies that I use for customization look like and sort of just how I store them. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. Thanks everybody for watching, and have a great day.